Hey everyone, welcome to another studio vlog. This vlog is going to be about editorial illustration. So I want to make some stuff for my portfolio that would like be suitable for editorial illustration. You might have heard me mention a couple of times that I have like a chat that I do with my like arty internet friends. We have like this mastermind group that we do and I've been kind of set some homework to do some editorial illustrations like for myself practice and to like give myself quite a short deadline and so I have got some magazines which are here yeah mostly the National Geographic magazine and I've got some in the moment magazine as well and then I've got a science focus magazine as well I'm sure I had more of those science focus ones anyway I'm going to have a look through these. Yeah, I think most of them are from last year, but that is fine. I'm going to have a flick through and find an article. And then I'm going to do some sketches on the iPad. And yeah, so throughout this video, you'll see my process of how I come up with this editorial illustration. Okay, I have decided what article I'm gonna do. Yeah, they've got this really interesting article on Leonardo da Vinci. It's actually quite a long article, but it's um, it's really interesting. I'd love to learn more about Leonardo da Vinci because he just seemed like such an interesting person and like such a nice guy as well. You know, obviously he's really famous for like his paintings and his art, but also, um, like the sort of scientific inventions that he made and he's done all these drawings of like his flying machines and yeah they've got his flying machine drawings here and there's like a nice pull out thing here as well yeah and he just seemed like the loveliest guy because he used to go to markets and free like caged birds and he was also really into music as well did some drawings for some musical instruments that he was imagining this article actually goes over quite a few pages so i have been making notes and just trying to kind of figure out like one what the article is about and like what bits sort of interest me so yeah i've made quite a few pages of notes which are here so i kind of think that the article is about a few different things so firstly the article is about like just the wide range of different subject matters that he was interested in so like art and science and anatomy yeah and engineering and like birds in flight and music yes on one level it's about all his different interests and it doesn't seem to me like he was a jack of all trades it seems like he was just seemed to like excel at everything and it's also about sort of how all these different subjects that he was interested in kind of linked to each other and especially like he saw a connection with like science and art so I could either do something to do with that and just yeah like all the different subjects he was interested in and how they connect to each other but yeah the article is also about how uh, the things that he was interested in and his different like ideas and theories how they're sort of relevant today yeah so Leonardo did loads of like beautiful anatomy studies and it's showing how like today sort of doing like a similar thing um these are all people that are like studying anatomy uh, some dead bodies um <laughs> It's, it's amazing how like, yeah, you wouldn't consider a dead body to be beautiful, but when you like look at Leonardo's drawings, they are like stunning. And it was also talking about how he had all these like questions and he was, he was really interested in how birds took flights. And so they're sort of comparing it to these people that are doing this research and they've like made this like robotic bird that can take flight. So I think that's a really interesting idea, like seeing how people are still inspired by all of his like sketches and ideas and inventions. But yeah, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna like hop onto Pinterest. But yeah, I'm just gonna collect like a range of images that might be useful for me for this reference. But 
but yeah this is a really interesting article it goes into like quite a lot of detail but yeah and then um, Leonardo also invented like an underwater diving suit like he did drawings for it but he never actually made it because he was apparently worried that men would like use it to destroy ships and like kill people I really need to work on this um, proportions and whatever but um, at the moment I have come up with this idea of having kind of like the back of Leonardo da Vinci and he's going to be like writing on a chalkboard. Um, he was left handed so yeah that's going to be his left arm. It, currently his arm doesn't look like it's really attached to his body at all. Um, <laughs> I need some reference pictures. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd have him there, have some of his different drawings like on the chalkboard and maybe have some other like objects and things around the room. Yes, yeah, so I thought over here I could have one person that's studying like anatomy, another person studying engineering, another person studying like birds in flight or I don't know like that's the idea so they I thought they could have their individual desk and there could be like a different thing on each one so that is my idea it doesn't look like much at the moment but um hopefully if I keep going it will kind of look like something So I'm just moving things around a little bit. Thought I might move Leonardo onto this side and the students onto that side because one of the students I want to do is like the pianist, yeah, who built this like instrument that is based off one of Leonardo's sketches and it basically looks a bit like a grand piano. It's very similar. Okay, I think I'm kind of happy with this as like a rough thing of where everything needs to go so this would be a double page the gut is going to be going through this kind of like piano thing which is called a viola august augustia so i think that will be all right i know you have to kind of watch out for gutters and then i'm going to have this pigeon bot yeah which is um like this robotic bird that these students um like doctoral students have been working on but yeah this this still needs a lot of work anyway so i think this is actually coming together quite nicely the bit that i'm finding difficult at the moment is trying to sort of fit everything together and it always feels a bit like doing sort of like a puzzle or something but yeah i really like the idea of the there being this like huge blackboard like that's just across the whole wall that Leonardo is like writing on because I think you know he would need a very large blackboard because he's into so many different things and he was just such a clever man and yes yeah, so I'm trying to include different little bits here and there so he's like drawing a flying machine and then this is going to be like an one of his arms from his like anatomy studies and then he also drew like plants and different machinery and then this is going to be like some of his instruments and like his music that he invented and yes yeah, so i'm just trying to fit everything in and i might move things about a little bit but yeah i think it's i think it's going well so far so i'm just i'm gonna keep going okay it is quite a bit later now so i decided that i would do kind of like a collage just to help me with the composition which is something that you might have seen me do before and it just means it's easier to kind of move things around so now that i've got this i'm gonna draw it myself but it's just a way of kind of getting things where i wanted them to be lowered the opacity like so i can barely even see it um, just because I didn't want to trace it too much like I still wanted it to look like my style but I just wanted to know 
where I'd put the things, if that made sense. So, yeah, so I can just very, very faintly see it, but not enough so that I'm like drawing it line for line, just to, yeah, just to know roughly where it goes. So, yeah, I'm just gonna draw all of these bits in, and then I think I want to add a bit more detail to the other characters that I've got. And yeah, and then I guess once I've done the rough, I can actually start on the pencil illustration, although although it's already six o'clock now. Yeah, it's six o'clock now, so I think I'm just gonna try and finish off the rough today. Um, Tom's actually got next week off as well, so I think I'm mostly gonna take next week off, but I do want to finish this um, for my call with my friends um, because that was my homework <laughs> that I was given. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can get this done. It is Sunday today. Um, I haven't really been doing any work on a Sunday for a while, but Tom is working hard in the garden, so I thought I would use that time to carry on with my Leonardo da Vinci editorial illustration. And yeah, so I've printed this out from the computer. It is printed slightly wonky, but I think it's looking cute, and I have added, I haven't shown you this yet, I've added this little cat that's like <laughs> going round and round Leonardo da Vinci's feet because yeah I just I love those cat drawings that he did and he was an animal lover. I've added some like little kind of coral reef things here and some fish just so this guy looks more like a deep sea diver rather than an astronaut. So yeah there's quite a lot of details. I think because I have printed off a couple of these because my printer was going weird I am going to use these to work out what colors I want to use it said that Leonardo wore like kind of like rose colored a rose colored outfit <laughs> decide what colour to do. This was actually my first attempt at the illustration and it sort of started going fairly well um, and I really really wanted to get this finished in time for my mastermind call with my friends and just also to like prove to myself that I can work to quite a tight deadline. I gave myself a week to do this illustration but I didn't actually start I think to like the Thursday or Friday just because I was doing other things yeah and I did feel like I was sort of failing before I'd even 
started but I guess that's the thing when you're sort of trying to challenge yourself it can quite often feel like you're failing to start with and you do have to just kind of keep pushing through. I was really excited by this project and I quite liked the first pencil like finished version that I was doing but I didn't feel that I was getting quite as much detail in it as I wanted. I think that was because of the scale to which I was drawing it and the the people they were quite small so obviously it was sort of harder to do like their features and things but yes the other the other reason why i really wanted to get this illustration finished was because i was taking the following week off with tom and so i just wanted to get that done and out of the way so i could then just enjoy a week of uh, we didn't go away anywhere, we just sort of hanged out and like played some board games, which is, yeah, one of the things that we like to do. So it's been about a week since I filmed anything because Tom, my husband, he had the week off, so I decided to take the week off as well. I'm not actually happy with it so far. I've come up with some ideas of how I want to change it. So, so far, very bright actually at the moment so I don't know if this is gonna show up very well but this is how it's going but I actually want to change a few things around and as you can see I've filled up all the space and I haven't left any room for text so I'm gonna change that I've had a little bit of a play around on Photoshop here's what I've been working on so I've basically, I've blown this up because I thought it would be better if Leonardo was actually bigger because he's the main point of the story. And then I'm gonna have this bit smaller and then I've got this bit for some text. But yeah, so I think layout wise that's gonna look better. It's gonna look more like a magazine article. I have printed out, so I'm gonna be drawing the illustrations as like two separate things and then I'm gonna put it together. I'm also, I've come up with an idea of doing the blackboard. I thought it might be fun to get some black paper. I'm sure I've got some black paper somewhere and then just draw on it with a white pencil. I think that would look really good. Yeah, I think it'll look better as well because this illustration, you can see the people are quite tiny. So I think if I draw them bigger, it's just it's just going to be better quality illustration because it's going to be like more detailed doing stuff because you worry too much about what other people think. So I guess that's a, like a set balance that um, we artists are supposed to endure and know how to work with it is uh, you have, I mean, you can be scared but not too scared uh, in order to stop yourself from doing something. I guess when you paralyze and you're like, nope, I'm not doing anything at all because I'm too scared, that's not a good thing, you know? I'm about to start drawing Leonardo. And I just need to put some hand cream on because my hands are so dry. And yeah, I've just been watching Fran as well. She's been making the first page of her graphic novel. And she's using these like kind of screen things to do like the shading and the gradients. Instead of like using like Photoshop or something. I just, it's so fascinating to watch. And I also love the fact that she's that she's using these screens and doing it sort of traditionally and like with her actual hands. It also makes me feel better because I feel like so many times I'm drawing and I'm thinking maybe this would just be quicker if I just did it digitally 
and then I think yeah like there's actually something really special about making it traditionally and so it's quite nice to see somebody else who's yeah like favoring making something traditionally rather than sort of doing like a quicker method I mean don't get me wrong it's nice to nice to make art quickly as well but there's just something quite special about making things that you can kind of touch and like that comes to life in your hands so now I'm gonna try and do the blackboard yeah he's ended up looking like he's wearing headphones because I've like put the multiply section on so you can see this drawing that I did of his like this kind of wing of this flying machine <laughs> but the placement of it just looks like he's wearing headphones which is quite funny anyway so I have finished the illustrations so there is Leonardo I want to draw the kind of blackboard things on black paper I'm going to see if this is going to work it's going to be really hard to actually sort of trace this using black paper because it's not going to show up so I thought I'm going to try a little workaround. I'm going to try and draw it first on tracing paper. I'm going to flip this so it's back to front. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to try it in white. Right, let's see if this works. It's going to be kind of hard to know which bits I have done. Okay, so I have gone around all the bits that I wanted to do and I don't know if I need to fill in any areas. Oh, actually I've missed. It's hard to see because obviously this is in white. And I've no idea if this is gonna work or not, but we're gonna give it a go. Hang on. I forgot to flip it over. This isn't going to work if I don't flip it over. I mean, it might not work anyway, but... <laughs> I've actually got some, like... Did you ever have those letter things? They're like... Are they called le letter sets or something? So those kind of transfer things. Right, so I have scribbled on the back of this tracing paper. I don't know if this is going to work. It might just be like a faint sort of line. Let's see if this has done anything. Oh, a little bit. I think I can work with that. It's at least got everything kind of like where I need it to be. And then I can yeah, do the details over that. So I have done the blackboard. These gaps are gonna be like where the different people are. So I think it's gonna be all right. I've also just kind of put some like lines and stuff in there as well, just to kind of fill a few more gaps. So now I'm gonna scan everything in and then put the image together. So the last thing that I had to do was to put everything together in Photoshop. So I scanned everything in at 600 dpi and changed around like the levels. So I always make things brighter and like more contrasted because I find that just scanning things in makes everything look a little bit sort of desaturated. Then I removed the white background for the two main illustrations and then zoomed in and removed any tiny specks. I'd already created a rough layout of how I wanted it, so it was just a case of putting it all together. And then I really wanted to create a magazine mock-up, and I actually found a free magazine mock-up, so I will leave that in the description, and then you can use that yourself as well. Yeah, I think it just really sort of made it 
come to life and yeah it's obviously a lot easier to imagine it as a real editorial illustration when it looks like it's in a magazine and yeah I think it just sort of showcases my work so this is something I'm definitely going to be using more in the future um, I also changed the background I found this texture that's just kind of like of a table or something that was on Unsplash um, and I'll leave that in the description as well. Thanks so much for watching this video if you made it to the end. Um, let me know what you think of my illustration and if you liked like the original composition or if you preferred this one and yeah let's have a chat in the comments. I'm planning on doing a lot more of these illustration projects where I set myself a brief and I'm gonna be a little bit more strict with myself I'm gonna give myself an actual proper brief where I say like if I'm gonna do like a double page spread or spot illustrations and I'm gonna give myself like a deadline and stuff so if you're at all interested in seeing that then subscribe and hit the bell and yeah I hope you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video bye